Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on quadratic transformations in vertex form. Let's take a look at what vertex form looks like. Here you have quadratic vertex form and different parts of this equation will tell you transformations. The A value will tell you whether you have a vertical stretch or compression And it will also tell you if your graph has been reflected across the x-axis. So if our a value is greater than 1, then our graph has a vertical stretch, which means it looks narrow. If our a value is between 0 and 1, it means we have a vertical compression, which means your graph looks wide. And if the a value is negative, we have a reflection across the x-axis, which means our graph opens downward. The h value tells us if our graph was translated left or right. So you'll notice that vertex form has a minus sign in here. So this is a little tricky. If that minus sign is still there, it actually means our graph moved to the right. If you see a plus sign there, it means our graph translated to the left. And I'll talk about that a little bit more on our next slide because that's a little counterintuitive. Our k value tells us our translation up or down. But this does what you think it should do. If it's plus k, our graph translates up. If it's minus k, our graph translates down. All right, let's take a look at our first example. So here we have y equals 3 times the quantity of x plus 4 squared minus 8. This 3, our a value, tells us we have a vertical stretch because that's a number that's bigger than 1. That means our graph is going to look a little narrow. Our h value here, remember we had a minus sign in vertex form, so this is actually minus a negative 4. That's how it becomes plus 4. So since our h value is actually a negative 4, what that means is our graph went to the left 4 units. And I know that seems very counterintuitive because it says plus 4. Um, if you need to think about it as doing the opposite, um, then you can think about it that way. But there's a reason, and it's because it's minus a negative. Okay, so let's take a look at our k value. It's a negative 8, and our k value does what we think it should do. So this means our graph was translated or shifts down eight units. So these are the three transformations um, given this equation of vertex form compared to the parent function. If we're given this equation or this function, our a value is negative one half, so that means two things. It means that we have a vertical compression because one half is a number between 0 and 1. And this means our graph is going to look a little wide compared to the parent function. And since it's a negative number, it also means we have a reflection across the x-axis. And what that means is our graph is going to open downwards. Looking at our h value here, since it says minus 3, and that minus sign was already in vertex form, so that 3 is actually a positive 3. So our h value is positive 3, meaning our graph is translated to the right 3 units. And our k value does what we think it should do. So it's a positive 5, and that means our graph translated up 5 units compared to the parent function. Well, that concludes our lesson on quadratic transformations given vertex form. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments section below. 
And for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.